Today we got one of the most overpowered weapon in the game, if not the most powerful weapon in the game, the FTSC Siege. This is a new build, the fire rate is a monster, the ADS got improved and this weapon is just going to demolish everything. This thing is good for pretty much everything in MWZ. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be running this weapon right here, the FTSC Siege. This is a new build, I had to come back to MW3 Zombies. And I was like, yo, I want to go ahead and do a build with the FTSC Siege. Because somebody recently just, you know, talked about this weapon on the comment. And I'm like, yo, that had to be one of the craziest weapons in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. As, as far as, like, how good this weapon is. Now, as you guys noticed, we only got 20 rounds. Uh, shout out to my name is Jeff. This is uh, another person in the comments told me that if you put the 20 round mag, your mobility actually goes crazy crazy so after you pack a punch the weapon which we're about to show you guys so let's go ahead and put a legendary tool here and pack a punch your weapon now once we put the marker holding on this thing we got 640 rounds so you technically do not need 75 rounds on this weapon as you guys know right here we're gonna be running you already know michael myers let's go this guy right here man it's a fan favorite this guy is absolutely insane. So what we're gonna do right here? I don't know if I can do that. I never actually tried this. Yup. Oh. <laughs> Yo. No. No. I was not planning to do this. Oh my god. All right. Let's jump off. Oh my god. Michael. Michael. Bro. Bro. He, he needs to he needs to go back to killing yo. But anyway, man, let's get into the video. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss my future video. Also, you guys, we will be uploading a new Black Ops 6 zombie video. If you guys want to go check it out, I will go ahead and put it on the description down below. Uh, I would really appreciate if you guys check some of those videos as well. But we're still going to be sticking with MWZ, you know, as well. So don't worry, we're going to be uploading this. So anyway, let's get to the red zone, showcase this weapon, because this weapon is absolutely insane. So anyway, as you can see right here, the amount of people here in MWZ is crazy. So let's get over there, showcase this weapon. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. We'll see you guys in a second. Oh my god, bro, we are on the water. We are driving on the water, y'all. There is no way. And we're not taking any damage. I look like we're about to come up. Oh my god. Michael, Michael, what are we doing, y'all? What are we doing, my guy? I guess this is a trick I actually never knew about if you guys want to drive on the water. Oh my god, disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where is my bike? Before we actually get killed, let's go ahead and pull this weapon out. 640 rounds. Oh, almost forgot. Let's go ahead and put this, this, and we also going to be running the dog, but we're not going to activate that yet. Let's go ahead and switch to my wonder. Waffle, and then we're gonna go ahead and pack uh, pack punch level two. This weapon, you guys already know, man. I wish this weapon was in Black Ops Six. What was that? I have no idea what just happened. And then obviously we got the Ether Two, probably the best lethal in the game, like on any Call of Duty game. I mean, I'm yo, I, I I I do like that when you play Black Ops Six Zombie. Um, I'm not sure if you guys. Oh, he's doing a triangle. You doing the triangle, my guy? Yeah, he might be doing the triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone. One of the things that I like is that you can have a knife, um, and two weapons. See what I'm saying? So you can have two weapons. You can have a wonder weapon, and then you can have a regular weapon, or you can have two weapons in general, and you can just like hold down a uh, circle if you're on PlayStation. And then you can have the triangle. And then you can have the knife. That's what I mean. You can have the knife. Which is cool. I think that's really nice. Alright, look at this weapon, y'all. Oh my god. This thing is so destructive. Now, I do miss having ammo. Like, every time you kill a zombie here, you get ammo. Um, 
I wouldn't say every time, but for the most part, as you can see right there, you get ammo. Block out six, man. You have to keep spending money to refill your ammo. So they try to make it more challenges, challenging. I get it. But I like picking out ammo from the ground. I think that's just a lot better. Now, one of the things that I do like about Black Ops 6 Zombie is the maneuver. Like running side to side like this, you can tactical sprint side to side. As you guys know, right now I'm trying to tactical run side to side. It's just straight out just walking. See that? If I run forward, I can tactical spring. So you can maneuver around zombies like this because you're able to tactical spring. I'll show you guys in a second. As far as the movements, it's really cool because you can do things like this. Like you can even do in third person. Just the way it looks is pretty cool. And then maneuvering around in between zombies to actually save your life is cool as well. Let's go ahead and take care of this uh, disciple right here. Also, if you guys notice the weapon, how this weapon looks, we're gonna go. I'm gonna. I wanna go ahead and give you guys another build where the weapon looks a lot bigger and closer. So you're gonna substitute one attachment from this weapon and you're gonna put a different attachment. With a 20 round mag, your mobility is actually pretty good. Your ADS is legit. Look at the ADS, y'all. You can't go tactical stand on this weapon because of the attachment. So if you switch this attachment, you'll be able to tactical um, spray. So right here, let's go ahead and activate Frenzy Guard and get some of the zombies to line up for me. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and take this monkey. We're about to be overpowered here. So let me go ahead and activate it. Because I don't mind doing. You know, trying to get a flawless crystal or legendary tool. That's one thing I like about this game, yo. MWC, the fact that you're able to actually get flawless crystal, legendary tool. And you can jump the next match with it. Instead of having to start all over with the other one. Now, there is a way on Black Ops 6 that you can like keep everything that you have. You have to save and quit, which is good. So if you're in round 30, round 40, you can save and quit. Pretty much keep everything that you have. Once you jump into the other match, you buy a weapon from the wall. If you want to level up that weapon or do a camo with that weapon. And then you can just continue right where you left off. So you got, at that point, you're going to have enough money to actually pack a punch that other weapon. You're going to have enough salvage to, you know, increase the weapon ready on that weapon. And then you're just going to do that over and over. So you can save and quit and continue all the way to like as, as many rounds as you can actually get. All right, so we are almost done with this thing. Should be almost. Hopefully, we get a. I want a legendary tool though. This has to be one of the most destructive things ever, man. Look at this. Let's let's go ahead and light them up. I think you can get about four of them. All right, let's go ahead and do it right here. Yep, we just got four, and now they are all just gonna die. Oh my god. Oh, we didn't get a. What? I might actually get it because I was. Having fun with this thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and show this. I think this weapon is just so OP. So let's go ahead and find a contract. So I would say you guys, and I think we're gonna make a video on this. Um let me know what you guys think. I really believe we will have a MWZ2. And I think MWZ2, they're gonna try to improve. Uh, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and join this squad All right here. hold on I think they're gonna mix a little bit of black ops six like the opening movements the opening movements uh that's gonna be a plus especially if you can play some type of um, open world like this I think it'll be amazing uh doing the dark ether with those movements I think that's really good. Oh man, we got him halfway. Like, oh my god. And another thing, another thing I think they're gonna do with 
if they do an MWZ2. I think more wonder weapons. Uh, as you guys know, to get some of the wonder weapons here, the Easter eggs won't really like that big of a deal. Like to get the, the ray gun was easy to get. The wonder weapon was easy to get, you know what I'm saying? Doing a contract, you do a few steps and you got it. Wonder weapons in uh, Black Ops 6 was crazy. Let me go ahead and do this. Because this guy is draining somebody's energy right now. I'm going to throw this monkey here. Trying to get these zombies away from the main target. Let me save this guy. And as you can see right here, we're melting him so fast. Oh, he's draining somebody. Oh, he's draining me. Get off me. There you go. And we got him. This weapon is like, think about a machine gun SMG on a pistol. Because this is a pistol. So you got, you got like two weapons in one. SMG because it feels and moves like an SMG, right? It is a handgun to be honest. But then you have a situation where this weapon shoots so fast like a machine gun. You see, growing up, when we was talking about LMGs, the LMGs, machine guns, they're supposed to be, like, really fast. The fire rate's supposed to be insane. You can fire from the hip with this weapon. Oh, my God. Anyway, man, let's go ahead and get to this infested stronghold uh, because this weapon is just... What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, yo. There's some strange stuff going on this in this match today. I don't want to kill this guy because this guy is um he's having a breakdown. Oh my god, you kill him. How you gonna kill the guy that was having a breakdown? And we're gonna do something different here. Let's 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 go ahead and spawn this. Okay, so we got a few at the bottom right here. Oh, yep, I knew it was gonna work. Now we're gonna throw this right here. And low. This thing is gonna make it so much faster. You can actually get two at a time. Oh, fell on that one. Oh, no. Alright, what do we got down below? Instant kill. Come on, man. Now, what are we missing? We we literally like got so many of those things. Oh, there you go. I gotta be the last one. How quick, <laughs> yo? How quick that was to actually open everything. Oh, and we drop him. Self revive. Okay, we. I'm go ahead and go back and forward with the LT53. We don't have an ammo mod on this thing, so oh, the wire got it here. Self revive. Let's go ahead and drop these. You know what? We're gonna take all these epic tools and we're gonna make a rain somewhere. Hey, come on, man! Now we are gonna test this weapon with this mega abomination. So first things first. Activate this. Draw all these zombies towards me. Get some. And now we're gonna throw this monkey here. Oh, we should drop a lot of them right there. Boom. Nice. Just in case some of them still wanna mess with me, we're gonna go ahead and throw another one right there. And this mega has dropped, like doing some damage. So we throw this disciple down. And we got a, I mean, Mangler now, we're gonna mess with this disciple. Either play with these guys. And we still got some 
Oh, them bothering me. I want to be a one of one situation with this Mega Abomination. All right, Mega. Come on. Come on. Let me climb right here. And... She's going to the left. Now we got the one in the middle. Wish is about to die. And I'm going to let these guys actually get that money. So I miss this. I definitely miss this. So right here we got nothing to sell, but we are going to buy one of these. And let's go ahead and drop at least one of these. And okay. Anyway, man, we're trying to upload Black Ops 6 Zombies video every day. Uh, we're doing a lot of the Easter eggs right now. Um, also, we soon are going to start talking about the best weapons when it comes to Black Ops 6 uh, Zombies. And right now, we're trying to, you know, find the best weapons in the beginning of the game. Um, because right now, as you guys know, a lot of people, a lot of us don't have every single SMG, every single assault rifle all maxed out. So it's hard to determine which one is the best assault rifle or the best SMG if we haven't used every single one of them. At least for me, I haven't used every single one of them. But based on what I've been using, I can, I can say like, yo, this weapon is really, really powerful. This is a class setup. Go ahead and use this. My opinion, these are the top three right now. I can go ahead and do that based on just what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Don't have the facts yet, but based on what I've seen, you know, definitely you can run this weapon, that weapon, that weapon. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was asking the community, you know, followers, all of y'all, which one do you prefer, Black Ops 6, Zombies, or MWZ? And you guys won't believe about 80% of you guys actually say MWZ even though this game has been out for a year if both of these games drop today and you had to choose yes I would say MWZ all day but right now we, we're going based on like if you have to choose right now one game has been out for a year the other one's brand new it's gonna be hard to shoot MWZ. Me personally, I love MWZ. That's why I'm here, y'all. Don't get me wrong, man. Later on today, I might go back to Black Ops because there's so much to unlock. That's that's my thing right now. There's like we already got a lot of the camels here. We already got all the weapons, level one maxed out. Black Ops is a brand new Call of Duty game. And if you're a Call of Duty fan like me, they've been playing Call of Duty since 2007. I'm going to want to level up all the weapons. You know what? Let's go ahead and mess with this Mega Bobination. Oh, Lord. Let's go ahead and do this. Same trick, same trick. Same trick. And we're gonna drop that right there. Hey, somebody broke a leg. My bird's definitely like the mega weak spot. Look, uh, weak, weak spot. Look at that. Definitely. Wow. And where are all the zombies? Come on. Praise the guard. Oh, they dying. Hey, I have a question for you guys. Have anybody been playing the multiplayer yet or the campaign? I heard the campaign was amazing. I do want to get the rewards from the campaign. So I might have to stop playing the campaign as well because they do have some blueprints in there. And uh, it would be nice to actually get those uh, those rewards. Oh, we got Michael Myers here against the Mega Abomination. And it's not looking good for him. Come on, Michael. Oh, no. Michael running. 
Uuu, Michael, whoop him. Salut, Michael. Put a sentry down there for that guy. Hang on, let me throw this monkey for that guy. Right before I leave, you know, I gotta help the, the community right here. That they should be able to focus on this guy. Yeah, let me shoot him just a little bit. I think we got him. All right. Salute from Michael Myers. See you guys later. Uh, the F tax siege. Anyway, this is the attachment that we're running right here. So we got this. It's going to give you the ADA speed and sprint to fire speed. We got the 20 round mag. As you can see, once you put the marker holding on this thing, you set. If you don't have the marker holding, you have to do either the 50 or the 72 rounds. The only problem with this is that, as you can see right here, your mobility, you pretty much everything, mobility, ADS, everything like that goes down. Which is no big deal. I have, you know, setups like that. And then we're going to run this laser right here for more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. This barrel right here is what's going to make this weapon look like this, you guys. This is a CMR uh, N50. And then we got this suppressor that is going to give you give you effective damage range, minimal damage range, and bullet velocity. I know what you guys are saying. There's no point of putting, you know, damage range in here or anything like that because it doesn't really work. So you can just go ahead and put, you know, something else in here. You know what I'm saying? And you can, you know what I'm saying? You can. As you can see, a lot of these suppressors are just not good because your ADS go down. The only reason why I had this is because sometimes I'm doing medium range to long range and having that damage range fall off, you know, actually help. But not just that, I just like putting this suppressor on this weapon. But if you guys don't wanna put this suppressor because it's not a big deal, um, because the effective damage range doesn't really matter, you guys can go ahead and make that choice as well. But as far as every other attachment, this is good. Now, if you guys take this attachment off and you wanna put maybe something like this, right let's go ahead and put something like this your weapon is gonna look like this it's gonna look closer and the weapon is just a lot closer as opposed to taking this off and putting this one on now my weapon looks far smaller anyway thank you guys for watching drop a like subscribe to the channel and uh, for more Call of Duty content, especially Black Ops 6 Zombies, stay up to date. And uh, hit the notification bell so you guys don't see I me, mean, I mean me. And hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss my future videos. Anyway, let's get it.